I took Wikipedia's timeline of the Cold War and ran it through Google Translate 50 times using languages with the worst translation quality. This was the result. April to April 1945, US and UK fear Stalin's withdrawal and invasion of Poland. March to April 1945, British pound. Russian officials involved in Operation Vostok, President Roosevelt's second major, denied the allegations. Please stop moving. And then April 12th, 1945, President Roosevelt dies. Vice President Harry St. Louis dies. You hate to see it. August 9th, Japan did not react when Truman authorized a second nuclear attack on Nagasaki. Live Japan reaction. September 2nd, Japan surrendered to General Douglas. MacArthur led the liberation of Russia and its allies. There's two people now. You on Team Douglas or Team MacArthur? On July 4th, Philip declared independence from the United States and entered the war against Hezbollah. <laughs> what? February 25th, Bo Russia win. <laughs> Bo Russia. On June 5th, Secretary of State George Marshall announces a major economic plan for war in Western Europe. This is the world through the eyes of the Marshall Islands. The, the, the islands have eyes. December 30th, Romania. King Michael defeated Agir Georgios Dai. This empire was overthrown and the Roman Republic was established. 1948, January the 30th, Mahatma Gandhi is beheaded. On June 24th, Stalin visited France. Stalin closed all land routes from West Germany to Berlin. British and American troops arrive in Berlin. In response, the three Western powers flew fighter planes to Berlin and occupied it. On the 28th of June, Stalin blocked the streets of West Berlin and launched a hunger strike. It's just him on his own doing it. 1949, on August 29th, the Soviet Union tested its first atomic bomb. At a time when the Soviet Union was the second largest nuclear power in the world, the United States successfully tested the Yo Yam. Uh, last October, President Tran Dai Quang announced the creation of a computer based government for a quarter of the world's population. On June 25th, North Korea invaded South Korea, beginning the Korean War. The council put the house on a hill. Bloody council had done it! October 2nd, US forces crossed the 30th parallel and attacked South Korea. Are they on the North Korean side now? On October 22nd, China sent 30,000 troops to the People's Republic of China. And he's gone. Where has he gone? On November 9th, UN forces moved to the Yalu River. China sent 500,000 troops to attack North Korea and forced UN troops to attack South Korea. <laughs> They've turned on their own side. On April 11th, General Douglas shot and killed President Harry S. Truman. He's had enough. He's going to use the atomic weapons. Don't worry, though. On October 10th, President Truman signs the Mutual Security Act. So he didn't actually die. 1953. The Korean War ended on July 27th when President Eisenhower threatened the United States with the development of nuclear weapons. I'll do it. We've already got them. I like how they were like, all right, he's serious now. We better stop. September 7th, leader Nikita Khrushchev and rival... Leventry Beria are assassinated in December. 1954. April to June, McCarthy fans protest the army. McCarthy game should be televised in the US. Let me play McCarthy game, please. On May 17th, Hezbollah takes control of the Philippines. On August 11th, the CCP set fire to Taiwan. The accident happened on the coast of Taiwan Island. <laughs> the accident. Oopsies! May 5th. Army invades West Germany. It doesn't say which one though. On 1956, Khrushchev delivers a speech at the 20th Congress of the Communist Party of China. He says, towards the people and the people's influence, which focused on the beginning of Stalinism. US and UK cut funding for Egypt's Swan High Dam construction because the rebels bought weapons. NASA developed the Suez Canal. The 29th of October, crisis in Sweden. France, Israel and Britain fly to Egypt to attack NASA. Canada opens the door to Ambassador Lester B. Pearson. UN Peace Prize Prime Minister of Canada awarded the Nobel Peace Prize to Lester B. Pearson. 
I think he wants us to know that he has a Nobel Peace Prize. November 6th, Dwight Eisenhower loses the presidential election to Adele Stevenson. December, North Vietnamese rebellion begins in North Vietnam with Vietnamese aid. 15.5, British darts. 1958, Languinary, Memoirs of Pope Mao. August, a Raytheon intercontinental ballistic missile is launched from Moscow towards Britain. On August 23, China began dropping atomic bombs. This was the beginning of the Second Taiwan War. The Cold War has just become hot very quickly. September 1st, Iceland starts water supply. That killed the, the mood very quickly. The British protested and sent ships to the area. <laughs> Iceland just got water for the first time and the British were like, uh uh uh. October 11, the author has moved. It's at November, Berlin Crisis 1958. 1959, Euro 1959. December 6th, continue running three ads. <laughs> is this when YouTube was established? 1959. January 2nd is the first month. However, he flew 5,990 kilometers without using an aeroplane. He is just so powerful. March 3rd, Moon Artist 4. This image was taken as it traveled 60,000 kilometers from the moon to the moon, which is 32,000 kilometers away. Hmm. September, Khrushchev visits the United States for 13 days, but is not allowed to visit Disneyland. <laughs> to the sea. Sea time. <laughs> December, Viet Cong NEC is established in North Vietnam. It is a communist revolution that overthrew the communist regime in North Korea. It is found in Northern Vietnam and USSR. I like how they had a communist revolution to overthrow a communist government. 1960, April. Jupiter will test an intercontinental ballistic missile like Britain's Raytheon at Morotto in Moscow, Italy. June, conflict between China and the Soviet Union. Chinese leaders were not satisfied with the Soviet treatment of slaves. The computer was invented and the war with the USSR began. The third Cold War has begun. <laughs> I started having a similar problem on July 5th. August 11th, Chad retires from golf. No. <laughs> no. On September 23rd, Khrushchev addressed the United Nations General Assembly in New York. I went to America for a month. May 5th, Alan Shepard becomes the first American to travel to space, successfully campaigning for freedom. May 19th, Jupiter retains Jupiter's ship land. It will be the first spacecraft to fly from Jupiter to Earth. I think Jupiter is like the entire planet is like united and also involved in the Cold War somehow. October 17th, unification of the Ukrainian SSR and the Ukrainian SSR. It's the Cuban Missile Crisis. October 16th, USSR builds nuclear power plant in Cuba. USSR agrees to non-binding agreement. Kennedy confirmed to Cuba about nuclear missiles and promised to destroy US missiles. Ka and Castro betrayed Turkey and Italy. What? Why? December 7th, rebellion against British rule in Brunei. This match will be the first match between Indonesia and Malaysia. On August 5th, Great Britain and the Soviet Union signed the Pacific Treaty. It's not an underground nuclear bomb. It's not. Trust me on this. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. November 22nd, John F. Kennedy is injured and dies in Dallas. Some believe the communist government or the CIA is responsible, but they still need treatment. Kennedy was inaugurated as the President of the United States by Vice President Lyndon Johnson. On January 27th, 1964, France recognized the People's Republic of China. On February 10th, the People's Republic of China severs diplomatic relationships with France. It didn't last long. On September the 24th, Mozambique and Lithuania begin the Mozambique War of Independence. Portugal's not involved in this. Taking it out on Lithuania instead. November 28th, Sailor Moon 4 is released. 1965, March 23rd. See the top nine matches. The Belarusian government declared independence on November 11th, and Harold Wilson recognized independence as British Prime Minister. No one recognized Rhodesia but Portuguese neighbours, including Mozambique and South Africa, vowed to overthrow the African Empire. 1967. On March 12th, Emperor Suhat Suhat Suhano died and declared himself President of Indonesia. 
East African countries, such as the Soviet Union, the People's Republic of China, and North Korea, Indonesian Treaty was signed by Suharto and the United States. The new football season brings the capital and foreign countries into Indonesia. <laughs> China dropped its first nuclear bomb on June 17th, 2017. I must have missed that. July 1st, war begins. Don't know which one, just war. Any of them, pick one, pick one. The 21st to the 27th of December. Eighth moon Apollo enters lunar orbit for the first time. He made 10 orbits before returning to Earth, but never landed on the moon. He has become like supernaturally powerful now. He was powerful before, but he wasn't orbiting the Earth powerful. He arrived in the United States from New Armstrong Airport on July 20th. Uh, July 25th, the Vietnam War begins. American troops left Vietnam and war began in South Vietnam. <laughs> September 1st, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi overthrows the Libyan government. Libya, an ally of Britain and the Soviet Union, was killed. Rest in peace. A moment of silence for Libya, please. The entire country was killed. 1970. August 17th includes Wolves 7. December 15th to the 7th is Thursday. He becomes the first astronaut to land on another planet. 1971. Idi Amin's victory in Uganda on January 25th was a joke. My favourite one is just March 28th. Say no more. September, Prime Minister Edward Heath expels 105 Soviet officials from Britain. His leg was cut off with a sword. December 2nd, Mars 3 approaches Earth and makes measures. He landed on Mars for the first time. However, it is spread for less than 20 seconds. <laughs> September 28th, 2019, Canada's biggest event, the Soviet Hockey Series. September 11th, 1973, Chilean Revolution. King Augustus Pinochet killed King Augustus. On June 28th, the beginning of Moscow. On April 18th, Khmer Rouge invaded Cambodia, led by Paul Holm. Who? May 12th, Mayaguez incident. The US Navy intervenes between the Khmer Rouge and the United States, rescuing the ship and its crew. He leads the team to failure. He's losing it a bit. <laughs> My favorite month, Julia. The Apollo program has already started. This was the first flight of the joint Soviet-American space program. A successful mission is seen as a sign of space flight. November, condoms are sent to South America. The terrorist attack against him took place on November 29th. On June 29th, Syria will withdraw from the United Nations and join the United Nations. July 20th, return to the United States. Leave Thailand. September 9th, Mr. Mao Shandong. Mr. Mao Shandong, everybody. 1978, Independence Day in England. Chinese President Xi Jinping said on December 18th that China will continue to promote innovation and open up to the outside world. On December 25th, a communist government was established in Afghanistan. Visit Vietnam and Cambodia, please. May 4th, Ellie Margaret is elected Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. John Paul II visits Poland for the first time. He was born in Poland, <laughs> but this is the first time he's ever visited that. On December 12th, NATO threatened to develop nuclear weapons in Western Europe. He has played this game twice. Is he like a fourth wall break? He's actually controlling everything. And this is his second play for it. It would explain a lot. Uh, May the 17th, Marx-Lenin government and Peruvian army. Very good. On July 3rd, the CIA launched a counter-Soviet operation against African Union forces in Afghanistan. August 31st, after Lenin attacks Gdansk port, Poland signs the Treaty of Gdansk. 1981, January 20th, Ronald Reagan is elected 40th president of the United States. She was elected thanks to President Reagan's anti-Semitic policies. <laughs> On December 13th, UN Secretary General Wojciech Czaski called for the abolition of the right to life in order to settle political differences between the Chinese Communist Party and... 
I'm calling for the abolition of the right to live. 1982. On the 24th, President Ronald Reagan announced the Caribbean Initiative to prevent the collapse of communism in local government. This universe is Ronald Reagan is very different. April 2nd, the United States invades the Falkland Islands. This was the beginning of the Falklands War. Brand new He Law just dropped. The 30th of May. He is from Spain. Born in Spain. Oh, it's a more He Law. The Communist Party of Sri Lanka was banned on the 30th of July. He can be called the youngest son of the Soviet Revolution. This is giving some background to He now, I like it. In October, American forces invaded the Caribbean island of Grenada. He overthrew the communist government, overthrew the Cuban army and stopped the Soviets from building an airport. May the 24th, Congress adopts the Borland Convention. He condemned aid to the rebels. August 11th, Soviet Union President Ronald Reagan mocks Mike during testimony week. President Reagan says, I am America. Not yet. I am delighted to sign Russia with, each five minutes is burning. <laughs> what? 1985, February 6th. The Reagan Doctrine calls on the United States to support communist revolutions in third world countries. On April 22nd, the National Assembly elected members of the National Reform Commission. He was convicted of crimes against humanity and war crimes in Argentina from 1976 to 1983. God created human beings with life. November 21st, Ronald Reagan and Gorbachev meet twice. <laughs> parentheses three times. <laughs> for a conference in Geneva, Switzerland. <laughs> There's a new character just dropped. 1986. She was elected the first female Prime Minister of the Philippines. 1989, January the 20th, George W. Bush was elected as the 41st President of the United States. Not H.W. Bush, but George W. Bush. February the 2nd, Soviet forces withdraw from Afghanistan. And then on March 15th, civil war broke out in Afghanistan and Soviet troops were expelled from the country. They just keep getting kicked out. Tiananmen Square massacre on June 4th left dozens dead after the Chinese government cracked down on protests in Beijing. Not thousands, just dozens. On November the 17th to the 28th, the Grape Revolution ends in Czechoslovakia. The day after the Malta summit, Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev and American President George W. Bush announced they had signed a permanent peace treaty. Many observers saw the meeting as the official start of the Cold War. Those ones were a bit stupid though, so ignore them. 1990. 29th of May, Boris was elected president. Yeltsin, Russia. 1991. Albanese ruling Labour Party dissolved on June 12th. August the 22nd, add and add not. That is the question. Turkey declared independence on October 26th. The majority voted for the independence from the Soviet Union. Turkey was part of the Soviet Union the whole time, and we didn't know. December 22nd, beginning of the French War. President Bush received a phone call from President Yeltsin and gave a birthday speech on December 25th. You know the Cold War. I hope you do, because you should watch a video about it. And then, December 26th, the Ukrainian parliament dissolved the Soviet Union and America became the only country in the world.